and now it's actually right behind us. We got saved today <laughs> from a possible monkey attack. Happy journey, safe journey. Thank you. We're Erin and Brandon. We're an engaged couple who are chasing our passion projects while slow traveling the world before getting married in 2021. Follow our journey and stay tuned. It's about 6 a.m. and we are heading out of Delhi today. Other than having my Perry Dance dance audition that was very successful, by the way, we haven't really done anything other than eat. But today we are going to Agra, where the Taj Mahal is. On our platform. Nice. Gonna try to get some work done on the train. fighting and I started crying. I didn't know what to do. My first instinct to stop them and get in the middle, but that would have been a whole thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there's one of the little boys. There's one who's getting beat up. I feel so sad. Uh, Fred and you talk. So we're at lunch and we got aloo gobi and paneer makhni and onion paratha. It all looks so good and it tastes even better. <laughs> you know you're in India when our server came over shouting because there was a monkey like right here, huge monkey, and our server ran and got a big stick to scare it away. And thankfully the monkey ran away, ran onto another rooftop. Our server was telling us that the monkeys are very naughty and that they'll break the AC units break the windows, steal your hats, your sunglasses, your purse, get food off your table. So we got saved today <laughs> from a possible monkey attack. We met Baba and he is taking us to some of the sites in Agra. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> they are coming uh, from the swimming. Oh, they were Water swimming in the river? Yeah. Oh man. Buffalo is very hot. Yeah. This is the Agra Fort. We're not going to go inside. We're just going to check out the outside. Yeah, yeah, checking out the outside. So our original plan was just to come to the Agra Fort, but then we met this tuk-tuk driver, Bobbin, 
and he was saying, eh, it's 650 rupees to go in, and you can't really see it much of it because the army still habitates 75% of it. So he's like, why don't we, I'll take you here, and then we'll go here, and then we'll go here, we'll stop here. He's the sweetest guy. He showed us his book of all of his passengers from all around the world and all the super nice things they wrote about him. So I just feel super happy that we met him and he's gonna take care of us for the next couple of hours. Uh, that's so cool. Truly our first glimpse at the Taj Mahal. Wow. So, Hello. Hi. the king's son got mad at his father because he was spending too much money on building the Taj Mahal. Then he put his own father in prison, but put him in that window up there so his dad could still see the Taj Mahal that was built for his favorite wife. That is the baby Taj Mahal. It was built before the Taj Mahal by the same king. behind the Taj Mahal, across the river, and there's two different viewpoints. One was 200 rupees, one was 300, and he said the 200 rupee one, you actually get closer to the Taj. So that's where we're headed. It's so crazy. I feel like our whole trip is starting to set in right now. Everybody's always said like, oh, you have to go to the Taj Mahal and it's always just been this like far off thing that I Google and it comes up in pictures and now it's actually right behind us. And honestly, I look at the ramparts over there and it's just filled with people and I'm questioning how it could be better being there than across the river here at this viewpoint, seeing it in all its beauty. And we're gonna be here for sunset, which I'm so excited for. Just incredible. If you come to Agra, you have to see it from across the water. It's an incredible view. It's also just so quiet and serene here. We're really appreciating seeing the Taj for the first time with this kind of atmosphere. When we first saw the Taj Mahal in the tuk-tuk, it literally took my breath away. <laughs> I was just shocked. It, it's so beautiful. Really, really worth the hype, I feel like. And we haven't, like Brandon said, we haven't even been there yet. <laughs> it's just so serene. Like, I feel like this is the idealized version of what you'd expect from going to see the Taj Mahal. Quiet, there's birds chirping, the sun setting. Yeah. And not it, too many tourists. Yeah, there's a couple a people here, few. but not many. We have our own bench to look out on it. It's, it's really just incredible. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> Carla's Cottage Industry, where we are learning how they make handmade carpets. And this is their showroom with all of these incredible carpets with their designs and intricate detail. Ooh, I like that one. Ooh, that one's nice. When we get a house, we'll just come here and we'll <laughs> fill get it all with the rugs. rugs. Wow, these are all so cool. So this is the process of looming. Oh, okay. So this is the setting of the warp strings. Wow. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello. You're busy, sorry. <laughs> I appreciate carpets so much now. I feel like I don't even want to walk on one because it's just truly a work of art. After the carpet is knotted up, it looks like this, a little bit fuzzy, because they wash it. But then someone comes in and scratches it up and then takes a scissor and actually cuts to make it a carpet that you have in your house. Nice and soft. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> bye, bye. Happy journey, safe journey. Thank you. See you again. Bye. We are back at our hostel and our intention when we left here was just to go to the Agra Fort 
and try to see the Taj Mahal when the sun set. But we got such a different experience than we were expecting. Baban took us under his wing. He brought us to a bunch of different little spots where we could see different sites around Agra and also brought us to two stores. So at first we were like, uh, we don't want to go into these stores where they're going to haggle us and try to make us buy things. But they were really pleasant experiences. We went to a jewelry store and a carpet making store and I got these earrings. They're called the Blue Star of Agra and when the light hits them, they make a cross that's really, really pretty and you could only find them in this area of India. We had to go to two stores because they give him a commission. So since we talked him down to a lower price, he said, hey, do you mind if we go to these two stores so that I can get paid by them? And we said, fine. At the end of it, we ended up giving him a nice tip on top of it because we're New Yorkers and he was really cool, a great guy. And Aaron wrote in his little guest book that he carries around with him, um, which he was very excited to do. <laughs> Or on the set of the Lion King. What do you see, Ren? I don't know what animal that is. It looks like a deer. And there's a bird on it. Two birds. All the other beds we've had in India so far have been rock hard. But this one, ooh, it's nice. 